o'clock and in today's video uh, we are going to be talking about the zigzag stitch and sewing and this video is the ver is the first video in a series of videos that I'm going to be doing um, in regards to you know basic sewing techniques that are used in sewing cloth and cotton as products so if you are um, a beginner sewer or you want to learn to sew be sure to tune in to these videos. All right, so the zigzag stitch. Essentially, a zigzag stitch is exactly how it sounds. You know, it goes up and down, like, like a zigzag. And there's two types. So there's the regular zigzag stitch, and then there's the three-step zigzag, which is basically three stitches up, three stitches down. And the zigzag stitch is used in applications where your fabric or whatever you're stitching has some stretch because that zigzag stitch is going to allow those allow the threads of the seam to to stretch with the fabric where as if you use the straight stitch you know that straight stitch um, may break in cloth and continence products the zigzag stitch is used most often in sewing elastic like leg elastic waist elastic the three step stitch is you know most often used on fold over elastic you can also use a zigzag stitch to finish a raw edge so like um if you don't have a serger you can use a zigzag stitch instead it's not going to be as neat and pretty as a serging stitch but it's still a really great way to finish a raw edge especially if if you have a lot of layers of fabric or the fabric you're using is really thick like on fleece. Before I got my serger I would use the zigzag stitch to stitch around the outside of like of inserts you know whether or not they were sewn into the product. So it's a very useful and commonly used technique in sewing. A good project to start with and practicing using the zigzag stitch would simply be to sew an insert. You can look in the description below for a link to my video on how to zigzag stitch insert. All right, so for more sewing tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe. So until next time.